Okay, take two of this recoil because the camera wants to be, it wants to fuck around. Alright, that's all right here. I'm back out of hibernation and I come discuss this topic at hand. This video is about, yes, in my humble opinion, the uh, bench presses with dumbbells are vastly superior to, well not vastly superior, but they're superior to barbell bench pressing. And I have three reasons why I've, I've marked them down. So, reason number one, yes. With dumbbells, you have a deeper range of motion when you're bench pressing. Now, I've noticed with barbells, it places you in an awkward position. It's not awkward if you know how to retract your scapula in a manner that doesn't fuck up your anterior delts or your rotator cuffs. And you can still do that. You can still, you can most definitely do that with with dumb dumbbells if you're if you're bench pressing with a grip that is, you know, I, I call it. I don't know what grip to call this shit, right? But your elbows are flared out. And you're pressing like this, which is how I see a lot of people do it at the gym, and I just shake my head like, man, you you are just, you are ruining, you are pretty much tarnishing the one ability that a dumbbell gives you that barbell doesn't give you, and, that's, and that is scapular retraction. That's, that's when you can have your elbow tucked in, kind of. It's almost like a chicken press, but not really a chicken press, but you, but instead of pressing this way, just press this way. It's going to promote a lot of, it's gonna promote, promote a lot of uh, scapular longevity. And you can also have a deeper stretch within the muscle, and that's, and that's what grows the muscle, the stretch. And dumbbells, you can achieve that more so, more efficiently than an actual barbell. Not more efficiently, but more effectively than an actual barbell. Reason number two for why, in my humble opinion, dumbbells are superior for growing a bigger chest as opposed to barbells. You have, a, you have an ability to go to failure safely. No spotter needed. I remember not wanting... I remember mustering up, mustering up the courage to ask for a spot my my first week in the gym, and it was just, I thought to myself, man, this fucking kind of sucks, and then I realized that I'm going to have to hold back a bit, I'm going to have to hold one rep shy of complete failure, of complete total failure on actual bench press, because I don't want to fuck my shit up, and, and, it, and it got so ridiculous that I remember I was decline pressing, which was, was decline pressing, if you fell on that, man, it, it has a very, yeah, the, 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 potential, the potential to fuck yourself up is much more higher on decline, right? So you can guillotine your fucking neck and, you know, it's a Mortal Kombat fatality. And I remember pressing weight, right, 200 pounds. This isn't this is even a heavy weight nowadays, right? 200 pounds, right? And then I was going for the extra rep. Extra rep to failure, right? Because you gotta train a failure, like, like, like an idiot, right? So extra rep to failure, right? And so, on the extra rep... <laughs> It was like it was like an old man having erectile dysfunction. I couldn't get it up, right? So I couldn't get the shit up, right? And I ended up because my right arm was stronger. I ended up tilting the barbell to the to the right, and my right arm, whatever. And then the fucking plate slammed to the fucking ground, and that's how I made a friend, by the way. And this friend is by the name of Rob. And then Rob was like, "Hey, do you want me to spot you next time?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, sure." So that, that's that's how I made friends with Rob. You know, really really cool dude. I'm, I'm sure he's I'm sure he watched my videos. Well, he definitely has watched a video of mine or two, right? But really cool guy. We ended up discussing things, and I ended up talking to him, which is, I ended up talking about how reluctant I am for a spot. And he was like, no, don't don't feel as if you need to, you know, feel shot at for a spot. Nah, I'm here, man. Don't don't care yourself, right? And so, yeah, uh, dumbbells, dumbbells, you can go to failure much more safely. Worst case scenario, if, if you're on your last rep and you're failing, you're halfway through, you got a quarter rep out. You can easily just let go of the weight, you can fall to the side. And the only thing you have to worry about is watch out for your cell phone because you, because you, you can and you will crack that son of a bitch if you pretty much just, if, if you drop the shit anywhere, like, like some bimbo, you can probably throw on somebody's, you know, fucking foot, right? And then, then, then the toenail is going to be flying all across the gym. It's going to be a complete mess, so be careful when you throw them at. Be very courteous towards your fellow gym mate, of course, right? Now, what's reason number three? Yes, the chest bounce is... For the most part, eliminated. You can use momentum to a rudimentary extent. However, momentum is much more significant and much more apparent when you're using actual bench press because you can the barbell. You you can practically bounce the, the bar off your chest, off your sternum, and have have a greater chance of momentum, right? Which I, I'm, I'm not gonna say it negates chest growth, but you're you're not getting the full maximum stress or full maximum movement of, of your muscles actually contracting if you're just relying on momentum to get the actual bar up. If you can rely on momentum to get the actual uh, to 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 get the actual rep up, or in a sense, well not actual rep, but to, to get quality reps. Dumbbells 
almost force you to get quality reps. Even if you're using momentum, they force you to push up to the top, top, chop, the fuck is this shit, kung fu? They force you to push up to the top, right? And that's about it. It's not going to be a really long video. It's just going to be me describing why I felt that, you know, why, yes, in my humble opinion, dumbbells are superior to barbells in terms of chest growth. Now, this is there's probably going to be a lot of, you know, raging animosity in the comment section. All two of you that watch this video, I assume, are going to be arguing back and forth, right? But I have some anecdotal evidence. I, you know, my, 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 my chest looks pretty fucking good. I, I, you know, if I don't say so myself, it looks, looks pretty nice. And I, I noticed this chest growth starting to maximize itself around 2019 is when I started to incorporate dumbbells into my training workload, you know, much more. And the, the difference is night and day. I, I, was, I was utilizing um, alternating rep ranges. I was going from 6 to 10 reps, and I was hesitant at first to go to 10 reps because I, I, I had the barber mentality in me that, oh, man, like, fuck, you know, 10 reps on, on, the, on like, this rep, this is going to be fucking difficult. Oh, it's going to suck. No, like, I, I could safely go for a rep set of 10, 10 to 12, right? And I could safely go to failure without relying on a spotter to get the barbell and, and preventing it from, you know, crashing on my sternum or fucking up my rotator cuff or, or my collarbone. And I managed to implement a system in which I can just move the muscle in a way that... Because, cause like, when you're, when you're barbell bench pressing, you're you're in a fixed position, is, you know, like a, a fixed position. And, yeah, I, I'm going back to... I'm, I'm being very redundant and I'm all over the place, right? But... My, my chest growth was it, it was, it was superb, it was growing at a rate that I didn't really expect and I, I had another friend of mine you know, named Tony, right, you know, big motherfucker in the gym, this guy was big as shit, jacked, really, really lean, right, and I rarely ever saw the guy train with barbells, right, with uh, chest with barbells, but he had the sickest, you know, like, he, had, he, had, like, he had a sick chest pump, every time you look at this guy, he had, had a, a, like a similar G-string as I had, right, but he had a sick ass fucking pump when he changed chest and triceps, it was insane. I went to him. I asked him, "Yo, do you ever train with barbell?" And he's like, "Nah, I I feel as if um, dumbbells are better. And in that regard, they might be better. They might suit his anthropology much more efficiently. Hell, they 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 might suit you better if you have long ass limbs like I do, right? So yeah, that's not to say that you should just discount barbell altogether. I still use barbell. I still love barbell. However, incorporating dumbbells can really really excite you in the training process a lot more and it can really move the actual barbell or the actual weights through space in a different manner and that's about it guys hopefully i don't come across as a fucking autistic jackass in this video who can't comprehend um who can't form his thoughts correctly and i've condensed this in a manner that's a bit um this video in a manner that's like kind of uh what's 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 the word the word is inefficient it's concise concise hopefully i'm concise in this video and that's about that's about it guys peace Choose your fighter!